In the two months since 2.2's release, everyone has been able to play it and share their thoughts on it, its strengths, shortcomings, as well as the hot new mod loader that's making the rounds. The astute among you may already know what that is, but anyway, here are my thoughts on the 2.2 update. Now given that Update 2.2 was in development for almost 7 years, it's no surprise to see that it's packed with a mountain's worth of content, some of which is still yet to come in 2.21, including but not limited to new main levels, gauntlets, icons, shops, various quality of life improvements, a multiplayer mode, and events. This new wealth of content is going to have a massive effect on the game going forward, and some of these effects are starting to show already, as there's so much more to do compared to 2.1, and players' experiences are now more convenient due to some mega hack features being ported over into the vanilla version of the game. Granted, mega hack is shorter on main and is in high demand, as evidenced by mega hack V8's release shortly after 2.2, with some conveniences still only being offered by the hack client. As much as it is exciting to have this update released after so long, 2.2 is by no means flawless. First of all, due to the physics changes which locks everyone to 240fps physics regardless of refresh rate, a lot of levels have been broken making them either harder than before or outright impossible, with the upper echelons of the demon list being hit particularly hard. Due to this, the demon list team decided to allow the new physics bypass in Megahag V8, which removes the 240fps physics lock which went down about as well as you'd expect. Now some may argue that this is fine, seeing as this only applies to levels verified in 2.1, whereas others may say that changing the very physics of the game is crossing the line, as most other hacks are simply for quality of life. It's an awkward situation with no clear-cut solution as of now. Speaking of quality of life, the editor has received lots of new assets and tools for creators to use, such as pixel art, a plethora of new triggers, as well as the ability to half-space any object with the press of a single button. However, there are two gripes that I in particular have. Firstly, playtesting in the editor fixes the camera to how it would be in-game, which is supposed to assist with camera controls. However, I can't help but wish we had the ability to turn this feature off so that we can have a zoomed out camera during playtesting if we want to. Secondly, the game mode boundary preview button is in a completely nonsensical place, being in the edit group interface. I'm not sure why, because it's not like it couldn't fit in the edit object interface where it's always been. It's clear that I, and many others, have quite the amount of criticisms, however I think it's also important to address what the update does right. For example, there have been some improvements to the icon menu, with new sub menu for choosing colour 1, colour 2 and glow colours, as well as the icons themselves. The new ones look fantastic fantastic with an absurd amount of references to other games, texture packs and even older icons. The other thing is that thanks to the sound library which has been provided, artists with a small presence on new grounds or none at all have the opportunity to be featured in Geometry Dash, with recent examples including Camellia, MDK and Nitro Fun. This will hopefully set a precedent for more artists to join, benefiting the artists themselves and the community. It's also worth noting that the economy in GD currently isn't as broken as it was upon release, as some items had utterly extortionate prices slapped onto them, whereas now the prices are overall more acceptable. I think you can tell from all that I've had to say is that in general 2.2 is a mixed bag with its fair share of upsides and downsides, but just like the previous updates there will be community made mods to iron out said downsides, and recently they have gotten more streamlined than ever before. This is Geode. And it is a modding toolkit for GD that is essentially Megahack's extension feature on steroids, which has taken the community by storm. Hang on, it's loading. Give it time. Okay, there we go. There are tons of mods that can be installed within the game, with only a restart required to activate and update them. Better still, Megahack V8 Alpha has a version specifically for Geode, meaning you can use it alongside your downloaded Geode mods. With the popularity this mod loader gained in a relatively short period of time, it has also allowed for the creation of some of the most revolutionary mods in this game. Case in point, the Globed mod. This mod, created by Dankmeme, provides a full Geometry Dash multiplayer suite, complete with servers, proximity voice chat, and compatibility with both classic and platformer levels. Essentially, 2.21 versus mode, 
before 2.21. Yeah, this is a nice circle, man. Nice circle. Oh my god. I stroke my pickle. What? <laughs> <laughs> Infinite diamonds. I stroke, I stroke my, my pickle. pickle. I stroke. <laughs> I'm gonna join back. All right. Let's see if all. Well. I think this speaks volumes as to how popular and innovative Jude has become. That aside, most well-known mega hack extensions are here too, such as Better Info, Better Edit, and Better Pause, just to name a few, along with new ones such as XDBot and Jukebox, not to mention many others which further improve quality of life. What's also interesting is that Geode is available on Windows, Mac, and Android, but the mods hosted on Geode do not have to be made for specific platforms. They're made just once, and Geode ports those mods to all of its supported platforms, which gives it the added perk of accessibility. There's no doubt in my mind that Geode will be a mainstay for the rest of 2.2 and potentially beyond. It's a fantastic tool, and if you still don't have it and want to get it, I've linked a download tutorial by Nothing Is Scary in the description. If you made it this far, I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching this video. This is my first scripted video in months, and I'm so glad to finally have this out. If you enjoyed, then be sure to like and subscribe. My upload schedule is total arse, so by doing so, you probably won't miss another video of mine. Have a nice day.